Back in the Rose Hill Gym on the Atlantic 10 Digital Network and joined by Fordham Athletic Director David Roach. And Dave, thanks for being with us and certainly an exciting time in Fordham Athletics. It's good to have you aboard. Yeah, it's great to be here tonight. And it really is an exciting time. A lot going on with uh, winter sports going on, spring sports starting. And, you know, I was saying to somebody the other day, next thing you know, a baseball and softball will be jumping on a plane, going south and getting things going. And I think both of those teams have a shot to be real good this year. Dave, when you think about Fordham men's basketball, I think there's a lot of disappointment that maybe you don't have the same win total for this team as last year, but you lose three of four leading scorers. You have injuries and illnesses that sometimes you can't predict. What really stands out to you about this season? Well, I mean, we always want to have high expectations. Uh, we always want to be successful. And uh, this year we've been kind of hit with the injury bug. Uh, we had one incoming junior college guy who broke his foot. Mm -hmm. And he's just now being able to practice, and we won't play him this year. And then we have two guys who were significant players last year uh, who both have injuries and will probably have surgery at the end of the year and hopefully be healthy for next year. And then get hit by the flu bug or <laughs> stomach bug or whatever, and uh, Jesse Bunting didn't make the trip to Davidson. However, a great, great win. And I thought we played uh, really hard. Uh, kids didn't quit and we're clutch uh, down the stretch. And then we go up to St. Bonaventure a couple of days later and we have two more guys hit <laughs> by the stomach virus, uh, one who stayed in the hotel and then uh, one who played, but it's certainly made a difference in uh, what we were able to do that day. But uh, the coaches and uh, the guys are working real hard. I love what I see in practice every day and uh, we'll get there. Let's take this a step further because you mentioned that win at Davidson. It's Fordham's first top 100 win on the road since 2008. So certainly that's exciting, but you look forward at this upcoming stretch and the A-10 doesn't get any easier. Six of the next eight games are against top 100 teams. What is it about Jeff Neubauer? Obviously he's been in the program now for two years and his staff and this team that makes you believe they can continue to take steps forward this year and be competitive not only this year, but, but looking forward in coming years in the Neubauer era? Well, I think two things. If before we had the two away games at Davidson and St. Bonaventure, mm -hmm. and you said, would you take one win, probably would have said yes. <laughs> probably. And once you got the Davidson one, it was like, well, then what happened to St. Bonaventure? Right. But I think the thing that really uh, pleases me is that, uh, like I said, we practice real hard. Mm -hmm. We have a strategy. We have a game plan. And you always know that we're prepared to go in and do what's needed uh, to beat that particular team on that night. And uh, Davidson was a great example of great game plan. Kids played hard, and it turned out terrific. Dave, let's switch sides to the women's basketball team. How about undefeated in A-10 play? And last year, Stephanie Gately's team in the mid-level of the A-10, they've made a leap forward. It's got to be an exciting time for them. No, no, it's terrific. And as you know, uh, Coach Gately is a heck of a coach, great X's and O person. Uh, the thing that really impresses me is she knows how to push all the right buttons. Kids love her, but she's able to do what's needed for the team to be successful. And when you think about it this year, we really only suit up 10 people. Mm -hmm. And all 10 are playing. Yep. Uh, we got a terrific amount of depth. And, you know, on one night, one player might not have a great night, but then somebody else does, and that seems to kind of go around and, Obviously, Jamaris Davis is having an exceptional season. Uh, so we're looking uh, for some great things in women's basketball this year. Certainly so. And we're looking for great things across this Fordham program. And there was an announcement made this week about the new Team Fordham initiative that you all have put together. It's a student athlete development program that really knocks on a lot of pillars. What excites you about the ability to continue to develop student athletes through this? Well, I mean, our number one goal all the time is to do everything possible for our student athletes. And we want to make sure that they have every opportunity to reach their full academic and athletic potential. So this allows us to touch on academic excellence, athletic excellence, uh, leadership, uh, personal development, uh, career you know, services, and community service. And we've been able to do some things like we're going to bring in a sports psychologist consultant uh, nutritionists and other people because the NCAA is giving us a grant along with other Division I schools where we'll be able to spend about hundred grand a year to do special things for student-athletes. 
Well, sounds exciting. And as we sort of uh, move on here at the end, anything in terms of Fordham athletics that really excites you right now as you look forward into the future? Is there anything that, that you're kind of looking forward to is, is the next thing on your radar? Well, I mean, I, I've always said that we always want to do some things to take a particular program to the next level or the department. And one of the things that we did in the fall was the Yankee Stadium game at Holy mm -hmm. Cross. Exceptional day, great venue, and really said to people, we want to be different. Uh, the day after we got back from that, I said to our staff, well, the Yankee Stadium game is over. We've been doing that for 18 months. And now it's on to the inaugural gala and Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. which will be April 22nd in Manhattan. Uh, first time we've ever done it. Special night. Uh, we're going to induct nine people into the Hall of Fame. We're going to give out the first Victory Bell Award, and we're going to give a special gift to every captain who comes. And we're expecting probably about 500 people that night, so it'll be really a great evening. So uh, looking forward to that, certainly, and hopefully you all can be there for it, FordhamSports.com for more information. Dave, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you, and thanks for all you do for us.